Cambridge Enterprise is the commercialization arm of the university, but for a lot of people that has no meaning. And the idea of the film was to give a glimpse of what Cambridge Enterprise does, but takes you past the patents and the licenses and the business creation to, to show the inventions that are spun out of the university with the help of, of the team here. I think for me, one of the big issues with these types of films is how do you get them noticed? How do you get people to actually see the content rather than just another generic talking head video like we, like this at the moment and that's uh, why really we said we've got to do something which is different which is uh, perhaps not what you might expect from someone like us. The idea of the Rube Goldberg machine was nothing anyone had anticipated was going to be put on the table but it was perfect. The first Rube Goldberg machines were cartoon drawings and what they did was visually represent an incredibly complex process to achieve something very, very simple. So we came up with the idea to have a Rube Goldberg machine that goes through six key inventions that Cambridge Enterprise have worked with. And the final thing you see in the film is the weight of the sound bucket slowly building up and then it triggers a light switch and the Cambridge Enterprise logo comes on. And I really wanted to achieve that practically. The academics, the researchers, they were really excited. They were really excited to be a part of it. They were excited to be chosen uh, to be part of the film and they were interested to see how their work would be depicted. I had no idea how you could capture it, but that firing off in the brain actually does capture what happens to people in conflict where the midbrain, the limbic system, starts to fire off. It's powerful, it's fast, and that limbic dominance was captured in that image that you provided. It was tense. Was this machine going to work? And for a long time it didn't. For a long time it was not working. I blame the green goo. I blame the green goo. I thought it would be more realistic to have a protein solution instead of just water because the drug icorcumab is actually a protein. So uh, we did a couple takes and progressively the uh, flow through the funnel and the tubing became impeded and at that point I decided it's probably my fault, probably because I just the protein was coating the tubes and the only way to really deal with this was to decrease the surface tension of the water by cutting it with alcohol. So we sent somebody to the local liquor store to buy a bottle of vodka and we cut water with the vodka and then things worked just fine. And then it was a case of a few other tweaks to be made and it was the tiniest of tweaks that had to be made to get a thing to run. And we'd get a perfect take and then right at the end it wouldn't quite work or we'd get a really nice take but then the camera would get a knock. But we got one and the relief was incredible. And cut. It finally worked. It finally worked, and you've never heard cheers like that. I mean, we were really, really excited. Oh, I loved, I loved the way it, it, it traveled around the room, and, and as if there was a, a sort of knock-on effect. And, and actually, that is how the world works. Everything affects everything, and I thought that captured it well. Well, my first impressions when I was shown the film was, can I see it again? Because there's so much depth in there that you really can't take it in on the first pass. Um, but very positive reaction. Also looking forward to the next great idea coming through the door as a result of people having seen it. I don't think we would have survived without Cambridge Enterprise. Cambridge Enterprise was the bridge over troubled waters to get us to the point where the rest of the world came to see that this is what is needed, broad-based, schools-based prevention. Cambridge Enterprise has been really important at all stages of the iCorcumab story, from patenting to negotiating with Index for the formation of X01 through to the negotiating with Johnson & Johnson. They've been, they've been invaluable throughout. It's really refreshing for us as filmmakers when we have a client who puts faith in us to do something a bit different. It's incredibly rewarding when we get it right. There were moments on this project when I was a bit nervous about that, but that's why it's so much fun and when we pulled it off um, it was great to be able to, to say to, to Leaf and the rest of the Cambridge Enterprise team, we did it. Thanks for trusting us. <laughs>